Hey there, Pisces. Welcome to your reading. This is going to be your main events uh, bonus reading for September. So we're going to look at the uh, main events, sorry, wrong camera, uh, that you could be dealing with uh, in the month of September. First, we're going to look at just uh, how the Mercury retrograde is going to affect you. Uh, the Mercury retrograde is on the 9th of September. And so that's what we're going to look at here on this first row. Uh, in your next row, we're going to look at the full moon in Pisces. That's going to be on the 10th, just one day after uh, the retrograde goes retrograde. <laughs> in the next row, we're going to look at uh, Libra season overall because, you know, not only is a retrograde in Libra, but we also have the sun entering into Libra on the 22nd, which is also the day of the, uh, you know, fall equinox. And we're also going to, you know, um, on top of that, what I'm trying to spit out is that Venus enters into Libra on the 29th of the month as well. So this is just going to be all that energy in Libra, how it's going to affect you. And uh, not only that, but at the end of the month, we also have a new moon in Libra. And we're going to see how that new moon in Libra is going to affect you, Pisces. Um it looks pretty good to me, <laughs> is what I would say. Uh, this actually looks like a pretty positive reading for sure. You start off with this waxing moon energy for the Mercury retrograde, and it says the energy is gaining momentum. So I feel there's a lot of momentum for you this month, obviously, and things are speeding up. There's definitely some conflict here because you have the five of wands showing up here as well. So you could be experiencing kind of some conflicts in your life. But overall, this looks extremely positive. And I would say that you're also learning a lot at this time as well. You're clearly ready to take action on something. Uh, I'll just show you. Uh, Emperor Three of Wands, the Six of Pentacles. The thing here is, Pisces, is that, you know, I would say that playing it small is not what you should be doing. I, and I feel like I've said this to you recently or in the recent past. I would be, you know, go big or go home if, if, if I were you. And I am because I'm a Pisces. So I would be playing kind of big, you know, in business and work and pretty much everything you're doing. You know, I would shoot for the stars, not just the moon, right? And that's what this first row is kind of saying to me. You have the uh, hermit, the five of wands, and also the emperor here. Definitely an energy of needing to take action. Again, I feel like you've kind of learned enough with this hermit energy. So if you've been thinking about starting anything new, I feel like you know enough. I do also feel some of you could be kind of ha or have recently experienced a, like a dark night of the soul type of energy that could have been a little bit challenging with this hermit energy. Um, what's popping into my head, actually, sorry, I want to go this way. What's popping into my head is that there is a hermit card that has kind of like a snake on it where his staff is a snake. I, I'm pretty sure it's actually in the after tarot. And that is popping into my head for some reason, that card with the, he's got the staff that's actually the snake, not the staff. <laughs> and uh, I feel that for some of you, I feel like some of you could be breaking some sort of trance or something where maybe you feel like you've been walking around, you know, just kind of lost. It's kind of funny because sometimes I feel that I do better during retrogrades, depending on the retrograde. It's like maybe there's still some retrograde confusion, but like overall things kind of sometimes improve. And I get that feeling for you here where, you know, there might be like the typical retrograde rules and things that you should watch out for. But overall, I would say that this actually looks like it could be a very positive retrograde for you. I would definitely be careful of conflict with the five of wands. Again, uh, tarot isn't set in stone. You control your own life and destiny. And I feel like this five of wands is saying that there could be people who want to start arguments or battles or things like that with you. And I would just be careful of that with the five of wands. I, w I just wouldn't even engage with any of these things. Sorry, I, I actually am using a teleprompter now, Pisces, so that I can watch myself while I'm doing this <laughs> so I can get get it right. But it's actually reversed. So that's why I'm having I'm struggling here. My brain doesn't work like that. But anyway. Uh, what I would say here is that I feel for some of you that you're kind of like learning to avoid certain conflicts in your life. I feel overall that maybe this retrograde is showing you what you have learned from certain conflicts in your life. And, you know, that definitely pops up in, for you in my head here with this five of wands. You also have the emperor here. You know, I feel for a lot of you, this is talking about taking action. I do feel this retrograde could be pointing out like where you are controlled by money. Again, it is in your eighth house. Even if you're not an eighth house Libra Pisces, it doesn't matter to me as far as I'm concerned. I feel like if you're a Pisces, it's probably gonna have something to do with your finances. I wouldn't be paranoid or I wouldn't like really worry about this. I wouldn't allow it to freak you out or anything like that, Pisces. But what I would say is number one, I'd keep an eye on your finances, right? I just don't, don't go crazy spending money and all that other stuff. But also if like someone says, 
oh, you have to spend this much to do X, Y, and Z, you know, I think it's a good time to, for you to get like a second opinion on anywhere you're spending money. And, and you know, I just keep an eye on your finances. Again, I think there's a difference between being paranoid about it and just keeping an eye on things. And that's what I would do here. But some of you, I feel, are kind of like looking at where where you are controlled by money, whatever that means for you. And you're either trying to remove that control or you're trying to, you know, kind of correct that control. Let's see. Uh, with the Hermit, you have the Two of Cups. Uh, for some of you, there could be love coming in for you. I don't necessarily see love here. You do have the Six of Cups, and the Six of Cups can just be innocent, you know, kind of like a very innocent connection. Could also be a Virgo or an Earth sign coming in for some of you. You also have Fire here. I mean, you basically have everything here, Pisces, but I kind of feel like this is you more connecting with yourself with that Hermit card because I really feel that some of you have recently been through something challenging or difficult. A lot of this could be ego related as well. I'm not saying that you have like a bad ego or something like that. Trust me, I think the word ego gets overused in the spiritual community big time. And what I'd say here is I just think some of you are kind of looking at how certain things make you feel. And, um, you know, I, either you know, want to change it or you're working with the energy, right? With the five wands, you have the high priestess. There you go. You show up here like one, two, three times. You have the high priestess twice and the moon card. The high priestess is a totally integrated being. She doesn't try to run from her shadow. She doesn't try to run from the things that make her feel sad or bad or whatever. Uh, she doesn't, you know, try to uh, just run away. <laughs> but she does kind of like work on her challenges. She works on the things that uh, she has to work on. And she also integrates all her energies. And that's what I feel like you're learning to do. So, uh, you know, kind of very maturing energy here. And let's see if I can get my hand right, Pisces. But there you go. I like it. Uh, with the uh, Emperor energy, you have the Queen of Pentacles, resourcefulness. Again, I wouldn't be paranoid about it. I just think it's a great time for you to be resourceful. And it does look like a good time for money. Plain and simple, I feel you could be kind of focusing on money or how you make money, or you could be focusing on making, uh, trying to make more money as well. Uh, and I do feel like finances are clearly going to be going well for you. Uh, next, in the area of the full moon in Pisces, on the 10th, you have this action leads to success card here. And so uh, uh, clearly, <laughs> taking action is going to lead to success in your life. And that's exactly what I would be doing with this energy is some taking some sort of action. I feel like having a goal is gonna be important. You do have the moon card here. The moon has been coming up like crazy for people. And I keep saying with the moon and that it perfectly fits in with the astrology. It's like, I think we need to have a goal, but how we accomplish that goal shouldn't really matter too much to us. We should just go for it, right? And there's a lot of action here in your reading. There's also like a lot of what are you waiting for energy. You have the moon, the three of wands, what are you waiting for, and the nine of cups. Three of Wands is my card of waiting for the perfect moment when there never will be a perfect moment. So I'm not saying you're going to like miss out on something, but if you feel right next to it, you have the Ace of Wands, if something, and not only that, in that diagonal, you have the sun. So to me, this is saying if something is capturing your attention, if something is inspiring to you, right, or if something inspires you to action, I would be taking action and I wouldn't really be waiting with this energy. You know, the story of the Three of Wands is that he's looking out into the water there and it kind of looks like the desert in the traditional Rider Waite. You can see it's like a golden color. Sorry, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe I should just look down here. But anyway, it's a golden color. And, you know, he's first looking out there and he might think, oh, that's a desert. That's not water. But then he sees the ships. It's as if he's looking at something where maybe we think, hey, there's no opportunity here, but there's actually a big opportunity right in front of you. So I feel like double checking things, of course, with the retrograde could be a good thing for you to do. But also... I feel there's a lot of opportunity for you, but you have to go on some sort of adventure. Again, for him to get the opportunity of what he thinks is the desert, he has to get on one of those boats, right? He has to get started on something. So if you're thinking about doing something or you know whatever it is, starting a business, starting a relationship, it's like you have to get started first before you can actually see where it's going. You do have the nine of cups. I would definitely make a wish during this full moon, around the full moon, you know, whenever, whenever, whenever you want really Pisces, but I feel there is fulfillment and happiness coming in for you, obviously. This bottom row is dope. You have the nine of cups, six of cups, sun, definitely a lot of happiness, joy, you know, just good things coming in for you here. So I really like to see that. I would also, again, I would be focusing on things that lead to your fulfillment going in this direction right here. 
you know, it's like one of those things where I think more and more of us are being led to do things work and business wise that are much more, you know, much more fulfilling and maybe kind of more along the lines of what we want to do. It's like I see, you know, I've talked about this a lot in the future. I see like a lot of people, for example, uh, quit maybe quitting their careers. And it's not because they, um, you know, it's not because the career is like bad or anything. I just think people are kind of being pushed towards fulfillment. So, you know, anything you can do to mo create more fulfillment in your life would be good. You have the moon here, which again, I think is your energy as well. So I feel that if you have a goal, I feel like you need to keep working towards it, uh, obviously with this Pisces moon that's going on for you here, Pisces. But uh, let's dig into this. I do feel like some of you could be moving or traveling as well. Again, it doesn't really surprise me. I would say that, you know, from now until, for, I mean, probably forever really, but until the end of 2025, you'll probably have a, a lot of cards that represent moving or traveling. With the moon, you have the uh, Ten of Cups, Fortune After Difficulty. <laughs> Excuse me. Sorry, had to sneeze. Uh, you have this Ten of Cups, which is like happy home, happy family. So there are more love cards showing up here if you want it. Ten of Cups is my card of dating. So if you're looking for love, I would definitely say dating. <laughs> I don't know, maybe one day I'll figure this out, right? Um, you know, I would say that dating is a good idea with the Ten of Cups. Uh, I also feel just happiness, like fortune after difficulty. You know, that moon card is really telling me with this Ten of Cups that your happily ever after is going to be on this journey that you're on. Like you're going to be discovering it, um, you know, kind of like along the way, if that makes sense. With the Three of Wands, you have the Page of Cups. There you go. It uh, definitely could be love uh, for sure. So there could be clearly a love offer. It could be an earth sign coming in for you here, Pisces. Uh, the Page of Cups is also your imagination. You have a lot of imagination cards here, Ten of Cups so far, uh, Ten of Cups, Page of Cups. He's got that fish in that cup and that fish might not exist. It might be something that is just in his imagination, something he wants to create. And whatever it is, he needs to like bring it down to earth. I frequently say with the moon that sometimes I feel with the moon that the moon really represents us needing to bring something down to earth, needing to kind of take a dream and bring it down in whatever way possible. You know, kind of both of those cards, three wands and the moon, can really represent dreaming about something all day long. And it's like we can dream about something, we can imagine how something is gonna be, but unless we actually experience it, whatever it is, an experience, something that we desire to have, something we want to create, unless we actually experience, it's not going to go anywhere, right? With the nine of cups, you have the six of wands, you will be successful. I feel like saying, I feel like saying something is going to be better than you think, really. <laughs> so if you're working on like a project, a business, anything along those lines, I feel that the outcome is going to be much better uh, than you realize. Uh, next in the area of uh, the, the just Libra season in general, starting on the 22nd, the fall equinox, you have this clean it up card. So I do feel some of you could be just cleaning up a lot. You have these six of pentacles here. You actually have two sixes in this row, which I love two sixes when they show up in a row or a column. To me, it kind of represents you know, positivity and being on, on the right path. It just basically says you're going in the right direction. So I feel for a lot of you that you're going in the right direction at this time. And I also feel what you're cleaning up with that six of pentacles is just give and take, like giving to the right situations and kind of taking from the right situations as well. I would say it's both for you. I feel that some of you are just working on that just general exchange of energy in your life. You have the six of pentacles, the ace of wands, and the Six of Cups. There definitely is a new beginning coming in for you, I would say, around the time of the equinox, probably around the end of the month. I feel like, you know, really that that whatever you're working on, things are probably gonna be good this month, probably about the same next month, October, right? And then things really start moving forward for you in November. I'm not saying that things are gonna be bad or anything. I think things are gonna be good, but I would definitely move towards something that you see as inspiring because Again, I feel like you're gonna to wanna to get that started before Mars retrograde on October 30th. And so I'd like get things going uh, that you're thinking about starting with this Ace of Wands, especially like by the equinox, by the 22nd at the latest, right? So any new projects, businesses, relationships, whatever, like I would get moving with this energy. I would also move towards your inspiration. You know, Ace of Wands is a card of inspiration, sometimes like a spark of hope as well. You have the Six of Pentacles here. And again, I feel this is something that you're working on probably the entire month, not just the 22nd, but you know, it's probably something that's going to come up on the 22nd. I literally feel like that day you could have some situations that happen or an experience in your life where you're just saying, you know, I probably shouldn't give to, you know, this person and I can give to this person. Or, you know, maybe you've been giving to the wrong people all along and there's a better group of people for you to give your energy to. Uh, it doesn't even have to be people. 
I feel like this could be work or business and you're understanding where to put your energy. And I really feel like you're cleaning up your vibration at this time. And this is gonna be a good thing. You have the Six of Cups. I kind of feel like a gift from the universe. The Six of Cups is a gift in the sense that it can show up in readings where we kind of need a turnaround. And I do feel that there could be some sort of turnaround that you are experiencing with this Six of Cups. So if you're hoping for improvements or if you're hoping for things to get better in your life, I kind of feel that this is talking about some sort of improvement coming in for you because it's like a gift from the universe, uh, you know, in that sense, right? So let's see what we have going on for you. Uh, with the Six of Pentacles, you have the Five of Cups. Five of Cups is a card of sadness and regrets. Some of you could be experiencing this um, you know, this kind of like sadness, but I feel like you need to realize that you have a lot to gain. Like, you know, if you have lost something or if you feel like you're losing something, if you feel like you're losing your mind because, you know, the mirror is backwards or whatever, <laughs> then I feel like you need to realize that you're actually going to gain something much more than you lost. So I feel there's a lot for you to gain with this five of cups energy. Some of you could also be looking at situations that you gave to. And it's like, you know, part of the six of pentacles is balance. Libra season, balance. So it's like maybe you didn't give enough to a situation and you lost it. And I feel this is just saying like, don't beat yourself up over about it, you, over it. Just change it in the future. If it's like a business. Maybe you didn't give enough time, effort, and energy. It's like in the future, you can change it. And that's probably why you're experiencing this in the first place. With the Ace of Wands, you have the Knight of Swords. Yeah, I definitely wouldn't like rush anything with the Knight of Swords, but something is charging into your life, I feel. And it could be, and it, you know, kind of, just an idea with that Ace of Wands. So this is kind of like a spark. You know, I really like this part of the reading. I'm going to show you uh, right now. If we go like this, just going straight down here, you know, this to me looks like you are, you know, manifesting something that what that was not clear in the first place. And you're kind of rushing right towards it. It's almost like you've had an idea for a long time. For a lot of you, I feel this is like related to how you present yourself because you have the sun here. So it could be like business related, career related, how people see you, or it could even be how you present yourself in relationships, right? And, um, you know, the moon is like saying you've been unclear and the ace of wands, it feels like the idea that actually works. <laughs> so if you've been waiting for something to work, I feel something is kind of falling into place here. With the six of cups, you have the star. Are you kidding me? Uh, love it. <laughs> this is amazing. The star and the sun right next to each other. The sun and the star together is fame and fortune. And as I always say, it doesn't mean that you're going to become famous or anything like that, but it does mean there's a lot of positive attention for you this month that you could be getting a lot of positive attention. And again, it's another card of inspiration. This On the star card, she is pouring water onto the land right here. And it kind of says that what's possible for one person is possible for you, right? Because it she's pouring that water from the pool of universal consciousness. And so I feel that if there's something that you want to do, be, or have, that you can have it. And I also feel like you're seeing something very inspiring this month that's kind of allowing you to have something. For some of you, if you've like been working on a project, by the way, and you're presenting it to the world this month, I kind of feel like you're just a little bit surprised at how well it's received. Not that you've been like selling yourself short or anything. I just think there's like a better reception to something that you've been working on for a while. Uh, next in the area, what are we doing? Oh, the new moon in Libra, of course, on the 25th, you have this um, buffalo spirit. For some of you, again, I feel that you're working really hard. I just get like hard work on this card for some reason. Sometimes I read this card like the tower, but I don't really feel that for you. I feel a much different energy. I just feel like a very, like a bulldozer <laughs> type of energy. And I think that's a good, you know, buffaloes are kind of like bulldozers, right? They can just, they can just kind of charge right through something. I don't know. I do feel like this is a good thing. Uh, you know, of course, I wouldn't be destroying things in your life, of course, but I kind of just feel like a leveling out type of energy, but also a very hard work energy where you're just really putting the work into things that you want to be successful. You have the Three of Pentacles, the High Priestess, and the Sun. Three of Pentacles, as always says, teamwork makes a dream work. I would also be focusing on making sure that you're having fun, right? This lady on this card, she has polka dots on her cloak. And I always say that polka dots in the tarot represent needing to have more fun, needing to enjoy yourself, needing to lighten up, right? So sometimes if we're being too serious, the polka dots in the tarot, like if we get a card like this card or the Seven of Swords, those are the two that really have polka dots that it kind of represents needing to add some more fun, some not being so serious, right? And like all that other stuff. So I would make sure you're doing that. But again, Three of Pentacles is a card of quality work. So I feel like something is being very well received this month. 
you uh, you show up here again. So I feel like you're feeling pretty powerful by the end of the month. I feel you're just kind of feeling like you're in your strength, like you're uh, kind of in your power. You also have the sun. So a lot of happiness uh, by the end of the month and a lot of good things coming in for you. If there has been any confusion, I feel like there's clarity. It's like you, you literally go from the moon to the sun in your reading. So I feel there's a lot of clarity and a solution for you. What I would say with that moon is, again, for you to have your happily ever after, I feel like you have to step into the moon. You have to step into the unknown. It's like stepping into the unknown. And that's what this reading is. It's it's saying stepping into the unknown is going to lead to your happily ever after, really. Um, so let's clarify this. With the three of pentacles, you have the seven of cups. I knew the seven of cups was going to show up. I knew it. Uh, you know, to me, I feel this is saying you can't just like assume how things are going to go in your life. I feel you have to actually put it into action, right? I'm pretty sure in one of your recent readings, I said this. It's like, you can fantasize about things all day long, but until you actually do them, do the things that you're fantasizing about, whatever it is, starting a business, being in a relationship, whatever, you do not know how things are going to be. So I feel needing to get out of this energy. You know, what I would say is that, you know, we have Neptune is playing a big role this month as well. And Neptune is in Pisces. Very, very dreamy. I don't really like Neptune and Pisces in general, but <laughs> what I would say is that, you know, I feel like it's saying Neptune and Pisces is very dreamy, right? Very fantasy relate. It's like things are very much in the fantasy. And the, the problem with it as well is that like, if you're thinking about starting a business, for example, it's like people in your life could be delivering to you both sides of the fantasy. Some people could be saying, this is great. Some other people are going to tell you all about the dangers, the snakes, the things that are bad in the cups, right? Same thing in love. You're going to have all these people that say, oh, this person's no good for you. And you're going to have other people that are going to say, this person's amazing, best thing in the world, right? Very confusing energy because it's going to be extreme on both sides, Neptune and Pisces. So what I would say here is that you have to taste things for yourself. You can't just, you know, it's, it, it, you know, this type of energy always reminds me of those like viral videos. If you've ever seen one where it's like, there's like, I saw one of a baby tasting ketchup for the first time, right? And the baby was like super skeptical about eating the ketchup and then like finally ate it and loved it. Of course, who doesn't like ketchup, right? But, um, you know, it, th that's what this kind of reminds me of. It's like, you can assume how things are going to go in so many different areas of your life, but until you actually taste it, you know, you're not going to know what you're missing out on. And that's kind of what I feel here. With the High Priestess, you have the Three of Swords. Definitely watch your health. I mean, I've been saying this to everybody. Uh, I'm not a doctor, so do not take this as medical advice. But I I've been getting a lot of health cards for the past couple months, so I just take care of yourself. Uh, and with the sun, you have the three of cups, celebration, happiness, reunion, definitely really good for family. I really feel there's like, this is the beginning of you surrounding yourself with better people as well. So, you know, if you're looking for more happy happiness, as far as the people that surround you are concerned, this to me looks like this whole entire reading, just kind of like an overarching energy is saying that you're kind of getting started on the path to more positivity in your relationships overall, not just love, but you know, pretty much everything. So uh, I definitely like this reading for you, Pisces. We're going to pull three. I forgot to say at the beginning that we're going to pull three yes or no question cards for the month as well. So why not? Uh, we're going to do one, two, and three right here. Uh, feel free to pause this reading if you need more time to think your questions. Uh, for question number one, you have the Ten of Swords. I would say no, something is dead, done, over with. I also feel like something better is coming in for you. I mean, you like I feel like whatever you're asking about is this moon to the, ten of, uh, to the um, sun type situation. So I feel like the sun is coming up. You can see the sun is rising behind him. So I would say no. For question number two, uh, I would also say no. Walking away from something. This is like a winning at all costs type situation that I get here. So I would say no. For question number three, uh, I would say no. Sorry, Pisces, three no's. But you have the five of pentacles, which is like feeling left out in the cold. So I would say no there. Again, of course, some people, you know, I get some questions about these three questions. Again, if you're thinking too much about these three questions, just skip it. You know, plain and simple. This is not meant to be a trick question. Some people are taking these like a like a trick question. That's not how they're meant to be. So, uh, you know, if you just skip it, doesn't matter, right? Tarot doesn't exist. Okay, so there you go. But this looks pretty good, Pisces. Actually, I'm kind of surprised. So, thank you for being here. Really appreciate it. Make sure to watch your sun, moon, and rising for a full picture of what's going on for you at this time. But thank you, and definitely enjoy your month.